G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, uh, just a real quick video actually for showing you guys some things. Now, everybody's always about getting the most performance and uh, getting, I guess, the best results out of their quads, but let's be honest, sometimes we're also a little bit vain, so I know definitely when it comes to propellers, it's not always about uh, the best performance for me. Sometimes it is a little bit about style, so that's why I'm to rock, try, try to rock some different color schemes and stuff like that. So who doesn't like a bit of vanity? So what we're going to be doing today is just having a real quick, uh, short fast look at some of these props that turned up there some JJ Pro props but they've got like some cool camo decals on them so I thought you guys might want to see that we'll stick them on the bench let's check them out Rightio, so uh, just a quick overview of what the props are. Let's have a bit of a look at them. So they are 5046s and they are bull nose style props. But what we're here for, I guess why I made this video because I thought they had some pretty cool designs on them. Uh, so we've got obviously our blue camo, our, I don't know what you call that, a desert and a jungle camo. So I'm not 100% sure. Actually, maybe they're like urban desert and jungle. I don't know, like some sort of digital camos on them. Uh, and to be honest, I'm a bit of a fan actually. Look, I, if I did have the option, I'd probably put some different colored patterns on here and I don't know how hard it is to make these sorts of props or uh, to put the patterns on there. But what I do like is they're actually part of the prop. They're not a sticker or anything like that. Uh, so I have no idea, maybe they're just dyed or something, but I really think they look pretty cool. Now, speaking of the props themselves, uh, they actually remind me of this. Now, this is a, this is a prop I got a long time ago with my Armiton pods. So one of the first Armiton pods, uh, back in the day, like Armiton F1 pod. Uh, this was the five inch version and these are the props that came with them. And I gotta say, these were some of the scariest props I have ever seen. They were so hard, uh, and they just cut through the air so much. This was one of the fastest quads I had built at the time. Time, and I really think that came down to this 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 sort of prop because I've tried other props on that pod and it just wasn't nearly as fast uh, There's barely any flex in these props and they just chew through the air But in saying that they also drew massive amps So I've never had anything destroyed by a battery quite like uh, I've never had anything destroy a battery quite like these props And I'm gonna predict I haven't flown with these but I'm gonna predict that this is actually a little bit the same So when you're flying with these you're actually gonna get some really really good thrust and some really good uh, I guess top end speeds but uh, they are gonna chew the amps and absolutely destroy your battery. So I think that kind of works well actually in this sort of pattern because this is probably all about vanity and you know sort of uh, making your ride look as good as you can and sort of tricking it out and I guess if you want people to sort of be looking at your quad uh, these things are not only going to look pretty cool but they're probably going to make it scream through the air and those sort of big punch outs or those high top speeds a lot more so uh, than the current sort of tri blades that are out there and if you're interested about the weight uh, let's have a bit of a comparison so this is one of Steel's props his 5040 uh, tri blade props and then uh, let's have a look how much is this one so so it's four grams so it is about one gram heavier uh, than steel's tri-blade anyway uh, I just thought I'd do a quick little video because these are sort of the first pattern props that I'd seen and I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in picking some up anyway that was just a real quick look real short video at some of these props because uh, they're the first sort of decal ones that I've seen so maybe some of you guys out there might like that subscribe for more FPV related content and as always happy flying I, do, I definitely got to clean this bench up because uh, it is looking filthy. So uh, hopefully in the next video, it's looking a lot cleaner.